two, one. Engines full power and lift off. The U.S. military launched its secretive X-37B robot space plane on Thursday. Trust me, this is not a bird and it's not a plane either. Shocking, right? Apart from its autopilots and plane-like design, all that is known about it is that it is cloaked in a great deal of secrecy, mystery, and intrigue. It might be among the most cutting-edge and sophisticated technological products made in America. Yet it leaves us scratching our heads and asking questions. In today's video, we will be drawing your attention to a question that is probably already on your mind. What exactly does DARPA's secret space plane do? The U.S. Space Force's flagship reusable unmanned vehicle is the X-37B, also referred to as the OTV Orbital Test Vehicle or just the space plane. It appears to have enough room to carry a large amount of cargo into space as it lifts off vertically and landings horizontally. However, it started in 1999 when NASA was still in charge. Since then, ownership of its development and use has changed, and it has evolved into a record-breaking piece of machinery that can do a variety of challenging and unusual tasks. Constructed by Boeing and somewhat influenced by the Space Shuttle program, the project was taken over by DARPA in 2004 and has remained a highly classified undertaking ever since. The U.S. Department of Defense's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA, is a specialized branch tasked with creating novel and cutting-edge technology for military applications. Although DARPA has benefited all of America's armed forces over the years, there has been an increasing connection in recent years between it and the last frontier of space. Over 192 million US dollars was spent on the project. 109 million US dollars was spent by NASA. 16 million US dollars was spent by the US Air Force, and 67 million US dollars was spent by Boeing. At the end of 2002, Boeing received a brand new 301 million US dollars contract as a component of NASA's Space Launch Initiative framework. So what's the difference between the X-37B and the Space Shuttle? The X-37B and NASA's iconic Space Shuttle don't have the same size. They do share certain similarities in appearance. The X-37B has a wingspan of 15 feet, 4.6 meters, and a length of just 29 feet, 8.8 meters. In contrast, the Space Shuttle orbiters, which are already in retirement, measured more than 78, 24 meters from wingtip to wingtip, and were 122 feet, 37 meters long. The enormous cargo bay of the shuttle could accommodate two X-37Bs. One of the initial program goals was for the X-37 to be able to perform maintenance and rendezvous with satellites. It was determined that a shuttle voyage would not be financially feasible. Thus, the X-37 was redesigned for launch on a Delta IV or similar rocket. Originally intended to transport the smaller spacecraft into orbit, the X-37B's designers chose a more cost-effective strategy by launching it atop rockets like SpaceX's Falcon 9 and United Launch Alliance's Atlas V. The X-37B is an autonomous landing vehicle that resembles the Space Shuttle, although it has upgraded characteristics like automatic deorbit and landing techniques. It differs from traditional aluminum in that it is made of a light composite material, and its insulation and heat shielding have been improved. Although Boeing has made an effort to conceal information regarding the X-37B's operations from us, we are aware that the aircraft has completed at least seven significant missions. In 2010, it completed its first flight OTV-1 and orbited the Earth for 224 days, from April to December. Just stay glued, we have more mysteries to disclose regarding this technical masterpiece. Now let's look at previous launches. The duration of the ensuing missions, which were launched in 2011, 2012, 2015, and 2017, kept getting longer. The sixth trip, designated OTV-6, achieved the greatest duration in orbit, clocking in at 908 days and 21 hours before returning to Earth on November 12, 2022. That is nearly precisely two and a half years. The majority of the X-37B project's operations are under wraps. In an official statement, the Air Force described the project as an experimental test program aimed at demonstrating technologies for a reliable, reusable, uncrewed space test platform for the U.S. Air Force. Reusable spacecraft technology and conducting experiments that can be brought back to Earth are the two main goals of the X-37B. According to the Air Force, testing of avionics, flying systems, guidance and navigation, insulation, propulsion, thermal protection, and re-entry systems are all included in this. 
Conspiracy theories regarding the X-37B are easily generated because of its operations and the aura of secrecy surrounding it. Tom Burghardt conjectured on Space Daily in May 2010 that the X-37B would be used to carry weapons into orbit or as a spy satellite. Subsequently, the Pentagon refuted allegations that test flights of the X-37B aided in the advancement of space-based weaponry. Claims that the X-37B was spying on China's Tiangong-1 space station module surfaced in January 2012. Later, this allegation was refuted by former U.S. Air Force orbital analyst Brian Whedon, who emphasized that any feasible surveillance flybys were impossible due to the disparity in orbits of the two spacecraft. According to a November 2016 International Business Times rumor, the United States government was testing an electromagnetic microwave thruster called M-Drive during the fourth flight of the X-37B. 2009 saw the signing of an M-Drive technology transfer agreement between Boeing and the State Department through a UK export license that was authorized by the UK Ministry of Defense. Since then, Boeing has announced that it is giving up on this line of inquiry. According to the US Air Force, the X-37B is being used to test an Aerojet Rocketdyne Hall Effect propulsion system. Former US Secretary of the Air Force Heather Wilson revealed in July 2019 that an X-37B in an elliptic orbit may leverage the thin atmosphere around perigee to modify its orbit, preventing some observers from seeing the new orbit for a while and allowing for covert operations. However, this was insufficient to halt the X-37B space missions. So what happened next? On December 7, 2023, SpaceX's massive Falcon Heavy rocket took to the sky once more. This launch vehicle was significantly more powerful than earlier ones. The smaller Falcon 9 or Atlas V rockets from SpaceX, which launched the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and the New Horizons mission that discovered Pluto's face, have carried out previous missions. At 8.07 p.m. ET, the rocket took off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, launching the X-37B spacecraft, which was unmanned and operated on its own, to previously unheard of heights. SpaceX's website streamed a live feed of the launch. The side boosters made a safe landing back on Earth. Guess what? It had completed seven missions. You heard me right? A statement from the Space Force provided some limited information on the mission before its launch. Because the mission requires functioning in new orbital regimes, a Falcon Heavy is required to launch the aircraft into an orbit that is higher than typical. Is the X-37B now considered to be a weapon, though? The right answer is no, it is not. The Chief of Space Operations, General B. Chance Saltzman, said in a statement that the X-37B allows the U.S. to conduct tests to learn how to enhance current and future space operations and push the envelope of what is feasible. A NASA experiment to discover methods for sustaining people on upcoming deep space flights is one of the research projects on this mission. Known as SEEDS-2, it will expand on studies conducted on earlier X-37B missions by exposing plant seeds to the harsh radiation environment of long-duration spaceflight. It may be especially important for astronauts on extended journeys to the moon or beyond to learn how to grow food in the hostile, barren environment of space, where it is more difficult to provide fresh supplies. The X-37B, however, may be headed for a highly elliptical orbit around Earth, or even a path that could swing it out to the vicinity of the moon, an area of space in which the Pentagon has taken an increasing interest, according to industry analysts and amateur space trackers who have been influenced by remarks made about the new orbital regime. Bob Hall, the director of ComSpock, a space traffic monitoring company that tracks the paths of orbiting objects, even stated that there was a possibility that this object would travel towards the moon and release a payload. It might be harder to return to Earth safely the closer the spacecraft flies to the moon. Shen Long, which is also highly classified, was launched on December 14th by a Long March 2F rocket, which is thought to be capable of only delivering payloads to low Earth orbit. Nevertheless, Space Force General B. Chance Saltzman informed reporters earlier this month at an industry conference that he anticipated China to launch Shenlong at the same time as the X-37B flight, suggesting that this was a competitive move. While in orbit, these two objects attract the greatest amount of attention from observers. It is likely not a coincidence that they are attempting to time and order this to match us, Saltzman stated in comments that were printed in the magazine Air and Space Forces magazine. So what's next for this mysterious flying machine? Officials from Boeing stated in 2011 that the company was thinking of creating a larger version known as the X-37C, which could transport up to six people to and from the International Space Station. Given that Boeing already has a contract with NASA to ferry astronauts to and from the orbiting lab using the company's CST-100 Starliner capsule, 
it seems doubtful that the concept vehicle will be built anytime soon. Additionally, a group of engineers under the direction of former NASA astronaut Stephen Robinson have suggested utilizing an altered X-37B as an emergency transport for the International Space Station. Remember, this is still only a concept, and there's no proof that Boeing is looking into this astronaut ambulance version. The X-37B program's nature is both intriguing and irritating in that its precise aim is unknown. On the other hand, one could argue that it is a step in the right direction to resume experimenting with ways to launch satellites, humans, and research into orbit using reusable spacecraft. It remains to be seen if the spaceship will become even more militarized, but any spin-off technologies that improve human life on Earth would be a welcome bonus. That's all for now, space plane enthusiasts. We appreciate you visiting our channel. Remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts with us on this topic.